Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you guys the top 50 free CD tweaks that are compatible with iOS 10 from iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. So as you might know, the iOS 10.2 jailbreak has been released and it works on certain devices, but soon it will be updated to work with more devices. And I have here my iPhone 7, which is not jailbroken with this tool, but with the previous iOS 10.1.1 tool, but the tweaks are the same so if a tweak works on ios 10 it will work on all ios 10 versions so these are the top 50 free Cydia tweaks compatible with ios 10 but before i start this video i just want to ask you guys if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as it helps out a lot so let's get started for sim picture this tweak will enable the picture in picture feature on unsupported devices so while you're watching a video all you have to do is just tap this button right here and as you can see now it will detach the video and you can go out of the app you can move the video anywhere you want simply by swiping it like this you can also resize it which is pretty cool and also here you have the buttons so you can reattach the video you can pause it or you can close it right here Hide Labels 10. This tweak will remove the labels from the icons of your device. So on the home screen, on the dock and on the folders, no labels at the icons. It doesn't have any options to configure, but if you want to install it, you will have to add a repo, which you will find in the description of the video. Image Board. This tweak allows to set any of your images as the background of your keyboard. You can see here it looks pretty cool, right? So to set it, all you have to do is just open the settings, go to select image, so it will take you to your photo library. You can pick any image that you want, then just come here and click save image and it will respring your device and you will have that image as the background of your keyboard. App Delete allows you to protect any of your apps from being deleted. All you have to do is just open the settings of this tweak, go to applications and choose which apps you want to protect. So you enable the button right here and when you go to delete your apps, let me just tap here, you can see this app right here, the Amazon app won't have the X button so I cannot delete it. Cask, this is a pretty awesome tweak which will add these cool animations when you scroll through list views like this you can see this awesome animations and you can change them by going to the settings of this tweak so here we'll have style you have different styles you can choose from and also you can change their duration right here so just go here and pick any duration that you like to install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you will find in the description of the video cylinder this is a well-known tweak now which adds these awesome animations when you swipe through pages on the home screen of your device so of course it's a free tweak and it has some very cool effects so you enable it here and then you go to, to effects here and you have a long list of effects and you can choose any of them or you can combine them and create different formulas and you will have some awesome animations on the home screen of your device. Advanced settings 8. This tweak will give you access to more settings of your device that you cannot have access by stock on iOS. but. With this tweak, all you have to do is just tap and hold the icon of the settings app and you can see here we'll have all these cool settings that you can go ahead and customize your device with. So you have here folders, icon animations, control center, lock screen, app switcher and all that stuff and you can go here and just change their settings and customize them like here on the folders. You can enable nested folders, pinch to close and all that cool stuff. Icon Renamer. This tweak allows us to rename any of your apps on the home screen of your device. So all you have to do is just tap and hold the apps to go to the wiggle mode and it will show you here the name of the app so you can go ahead and customize it and add any name you want and then just click apply and it will apply the new name to the app. Round Dock. This is a simple tweak for the dock of your device. As you can see right here, it will add rounded corners to the dock and it looks pretty cool. No folder background. This tweak will remove the backgrounds from the folders on your device. So you will have just this nice blurred background without that little background that you get here normally on the folders. It doesn't have any options to configure to install this tweak. You will need to add a repo which you can find in the description. Cuttlefish. This tweak will colorize the background of the 3D touch menu based on the color of that icon. So if I go here to the mail 3D touch menu, you can see it will have a blue background. If I go here to iTunes, you can see a purple background. It looks pretty cool. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. 
Blurry Launch. This tweak will add a blur on the screen of your device whenever you open an app. So if I open the settings app, you can see it will blur out my device, then it will go to the app. So under the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button. Then you have here the theme of the blur. You can change here the different colors and then you have the blur strength. And then here you can set the duration of the blur. Just pick any of these durations. Creamless, this tweak will remove the coloring from the toggles on the control center of your device. So you can see no colors here. They are just black when they are turned off and when you turn them on, they will be white, so no color at all. So if you want to remove the colors from the control center toggles, you can install this tweak called Creamless. To install it, you will need to add a repo, which you will find in the description. Adaptive color alerts. This tweak will customize the alerts on your device by making them adaptive to the color of the wallpaper that you have set. So here, if I want to delete one of my apps, you can see now the pop-up will adapt to the background of my device and it looks pretty cool. So if we jump to the settings of this tweak, we have a few options here. So in the enable and disable button right here to enable or disable the tweak, then you have extras here. You can apply an option for all the alerts to be dark. It works just on iOS 10 and also you can also apply an option for all the alerts to be clear and you can also apply an option for the alert text to be bold with the switch right here at the bottom of the page. Alkaline. This tweak allows you to customize the battery indicator on the status bar of your device. So all you have to do is just enable it under settings and then here will have the themes. You have three different themes that you can pick from. App Admin. This tweak allows you to install older versions of apps from the app store. So when you go to install an app, you tap the install button and it will show you continue or downgrade. If you go to downgrade, it will show you the known versions. So here you have all the known versions of that app and you can pick any of them and it will install that version of the app on your device. Bars. This is a throwback tweak which will bring back the bars on the status bar of your device. So normally here at the signal indicator you would see the dots, but this tweak will remove them and replace them with bars. Blurred. This is a simple tweak for the keyboard of your device. So this tweak has been around for quite a while now and what it does is that it will replace the stock white keyboard on your iOS 10 device with a black keyboard. So everywhere you go you will have a black keyboard. So under the settings of this tweak all you have is an enable button where you can enable or disable the tweak. Blurry badges. This tweak will customize the look of the badges on your iOS 10 device. So you can see right here the badge of the mail app is blue and it's blurred. So what it does is that it will blur out the badges and also the badge will take the color of the icon of that app. CC Low Power Mode. This is a very simple yet very useful tweak which allows you to easily turn on or off the low power mode directly from the control center of your device. So you can see you will have an extra button right here which allows you to easily turn on or off the low power mode. CC Record. This is a pretty cool tweak which allows you to record the screen of your device and it has a button on the control center of your device. So you open the control center, you click here and now it's recording the screen of my device which is pretty cool. And once I'm done, I can just go ahead, tap the button and it will automatically save that video on the Photos app on my device. Circle icons. This is a pretty cool tweak which will replace all the square icons on the settings app with circle icons and they look pretty awesome. So under the settings of this tweak, here you have icon shapes and you can go ahead and choose default if you want to disable the tweak or you can choose circle if you want to enable the circle icons. Cream 2. This tweak allows us to customize the control center buttons by changing their color to any color that you want. You can see here the Wi-Fi has a different color, also the orientation lock and you can change those colors by going to the settings of this tweak. So you enable it here, you go to configuration and here will have all the buttons and you can just go to one of them and pick any color that you want for that button. Custom Carrier 10. This tweak allows us to set anything as your carrier. So you can type anything you want and it will set it right here as the carrier of your device. So you can see the settings of this tweak. You enable it here. You enter here any text or any emoji that you want and click here apply changes. It will respring your device and you will have a custom carrier name. 
Dark Number Badge. This is a simple tweak for the badges, all it does is that it will change the color of the numbers on the badges, so instead of being white, the numbers on the badge now will be black. Date and status bar. This is a nice tweak for the status bar of your device and it will add the date also so you will have the time and on the left side you will have the date which is pretty awesome. Delete forever. You know on iOS when you delete a picture it will save it on the recently deleted folder so you will have to go there to remove it and completely delete it from your device but with this tweak now you will have two options. When you want to delete a picture you can delete it and it will save it on your recently deleted album or you can tap here and it will delete it forever from your device you won't have it on the recently deleted album. Detailed battery usage. So this tweak will give you more detailed information about the usage of your battery. So if you go to settings and go to the battery section then here you will have the battery levels and here you will have more detailed information about the usage of your battery. Double cut. This tweak allows to easily insert your email or anything that you choose simply by double tapping a button on the keyboard of your device. So here if I double tap the add button you can see it will show iReviews. So this is very convenient if you add your email and you can double tap the add button into, and it will insert your email without having to type it. So if you go to the settings of this tweak here's where you can configure it. You can enter here anything you want for the double tap the add key or you can add a new one so you can choose the key here and then you can choose the type how many times you will have to tap that key and then here you can enter the expand results of the text that you want to enter when you double tap or triple tap that key. Glow dock. This is a tweak for the dock of your device and what it does is that it will add this nice glow around the icons on the dock of your device. So it's not really a useful tweak but it looks cool so if you want to add this nice little glow around the icons you can go ahead and install this tweak called glow dock. Hide settings search. This tweak will hide the search bar on the settings app of your iOS 10 device. So if you don't use it or you don't need it, you can go ahead and remove it using this tweak. It doesn't have any options to configure. Lil emoji. You know on iOS 10 Apple has made the emojis on iMessages way bigger. So if you don't like that, if you want to have back the little emojis, you can install this free tweak from Cydia and it will bring back the little emojis on iMessages. No carrier. This is a simple tweak which will completely remove the carrier name from the status bar of your device. So if you don't want to see it here, just install this tweak. It will remove it. It doesn't have any options to configure. No key pop. You know when you type on your keyboard, every key that you type will pop up. But with this tweak, they won't. It will completely remove the pop from the keys on the keyboard. So I don't know how useful that is. Me, I cannot type without the keys popping. Typing with this tweak on is just very hard for me. I don't like it at all, but it works on iOS 10 and some people might like it. So no key pop will remove the pops from the keyboard of your iOS 10 device. No slow animation. So this is an awesome tweak which will completely remove the slow animations from your device. So you enable it here and you set the speed of the animations with this slider. And you can see this speed is much faster. You can see how fast the app closes and opens. No slow animations at all. No today's view. This tweak allows you to disable the today's view on the lock screen of your device as well as on the home screen of your device. So you can see here if I swipe to go to the today's view it won't go there it's completely disabled. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak you will have two enable buttons right here. So you can enable this tweak just on the home screen or just on the lock screen or you can enable them both at the same time with these two switches right here. No wallpaper gray. So from day one when I installed iOS 10 I noticed that the wallpaper on the home screen has a gray tint which looks just awful. The one on the lock screen doesn't but on the home screen it does. So this tweak will take care of it. It will completely remove this gray tint from the home screen of your device. Bodycon. This is a pretty cool tweak which will replace the icon of the photos app with the last photo that you have on your photo album. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, a respring button right here. You can blur the image, you can set the amount of blur right here, and then you can also select an album right here, one of your albums, and it will set the pictures from that album as the icon of the Photos app. 
photo size. This tweak shows you the size of the pictures that you select on the photos app. So if I tap select right here, I select one picture, it will show me one item, 25 kilobytes. So if I tap to select more, you can see it will show me more items and of course a bigger size. So anytime you select your pictures, you will know exactly how much space they take on your device. PM really, whenever you want to set an alarm on your device, you might accidentally set it to PM, but this tweak won't allow you to do that. So if you try to set an alarm to PM, click save, it will ask you that are you sure that you want to set it to PM, you can tap yes or if you tap nope, you can see it will automatically turn it into AM, which is pretty cool and very helpful. Power tap, this tweak adds way more options to the power down menu of your device. So normally you would have just slide to power up. But if you tap here with this tweak you will have slide to reboot, slide to respring and also slide to go to the safe mode. So it will add 3 new options on the power down menu of your device. Quick shuffle repeat, this is a very useful tweak which will add 2 extra buttons to the media controls on the control center of your device. So you will have a shuffle button and also a repeat button right here on the control center of your device which is pretty convenient. So to install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you can find in the description. Safari full screen scrolling. This is a pretty cool tweak for the Safari app, it's very useful, I really like it a lot. So whenever you're scrolling through a web page on Safari, it will take you to a full screen mode the minute you start to scroll, you can see how cool it looks and it's very useful, you don't need all those, those bars taking up space on your screen, you will have like a full screen mode like this, it looks pretty cool and also it's very useful. Shy page dots. This is a tweak that has been around like forever and it's a simple one, all it does is that it will remove the page dots from the home screen of your device so it will look a little nicer and cleaner. Snow overlay. This is a fun tweak which will add this cool snow overlay on the home screen of your device. So when you move through the pages on the home screen everywhere you will have this nice cool snow overlay. As I said it's a fun tweak and to install it you will need to add a repo which you will find in the description. Status folder. You know when you open the folders on your device you won't have the status bar but with this tweak now you will have the status bar as well on the folders of your device. So you can see you open a folder and the status bar is still there. Swipe for more. With this tweak on the Cydia app, it's easier to remove or install packages. So all you have to do is just swipe like this and you can queue the removal of a tweak. You can go ahead and reinstall it or you can remove it right here. You can do the same with installing tweaks or removing tweaks. It's pretty useful and it allows you to quickly add and remove tweaks from your device. Tactful. This tweak will add 3D touch features to the Cydia app. So it's pretty cool and very useful. So here on the packages, I can tap on the package, I can swipe up like this to show the actions so I can install this tweak right here or I can just go ahead and peek and pop here into a package which is pretty cool. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Transparent Dock. This is a nice simple tweak for the dock of your device and the name says it all. What it does is that it makes the dock transparent so it will completely remove the background from the dock. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. Tweak Count 2. This tweak adds a very nice little feature to the Cydia app. So when you go to your packages, you will have right here the number of packages that you have currently installed on your device. So if you want to know how many packages you have installed, you don't need to count them, you will have the number right here. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, for more videos like this please make sure you subscribe, I will be uploading a lot of more videos on iOS 10 tweaks so make sure you subscribe to not miss any of them and also leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. So that's it, also don't forget to follow me on my social media, I will leave them all linked right down below in the description of the video.